Hey. I'm Cal Guerin, CTO of Ready Robotics, and 1961 was an incredible year for two reasons. First, first industrial mass-produced robot was ever produced, and second, the IBM 650, the first mass-produced computer, was installed. We see computers everywhere today, so what happened to the robotic space? Why don't you have a robot in your kitchen? Un unless you do have a robot in your kitchen, that's pretty awesome. This is a ready session. So if we look back at 1961, we had the Unimate, which was the first mass-produced industrial robot, finally now in production. And we had the IBM 650, which was the first mass-produced computer, and that was selling great as well, right? So in that moment, you had a huge amount of opportunity for both of these industries, both the computer industry and the robotics industry. Now, we look around us and see how transformative the computer industry has been. And while the robotics industry has been transformative as well, it's not as ubiquitous. So let's think about what the computer industry did to achieve such a wide-scale growth that maybe we can learn from when we think about the robotics industry. In the 70s, the computer industry was very much about the mainframe. Big, difficult, hard to use, required a lot of expertise. The 80s, now you had PCs. You had very cheap computers that users could actually buy, and they were small. They fit on your kitchen table. You could balance your checkbook. But more importantly, they were usable. And that's really what transformed the computer industry in the 80s is that usability. The fact that you could sit down and with a couple of hours be using a computer. That wasn't possible. 10 years ago. Well, fast forward to today. The robotics industry, while it's taken longer to get there, is now in its 80s moment, right? We have robots that are collaborative. They're safe to stand and work beside. They're uh, much cheaper, right? I can buy one for a tenth of what it cost to buy an industrial robot 10 years ago but they're still hard to use. And we haven't had that same explosive growth that we saw in the computer industry because of that ease of use. So what does a world look like where we have robots that are easy to use? Well, it's very similar to how the computer industry looked in the 80s. All of a sudden, you could sit down at a computer and say, hey, I can get value out of this thing. I can balance my checkbook. I can edit my photos. Eventually, I can connect to the internet. That was hugely transformative, and it caused this skyrocketing growth in the computer industry. Industry. The robotics industry will be the same if we focus on usability because people will say, wow, here's this amazing piece of technology, but I get it. I can use it now and I can use it to create value. That's what's going to allow the robotics industry to skyrocket and eventually change the world so that one day you do have a robot in your kitchen. Unless you're that guy who already has a robot in their kitchen and you should call me because we need to talk.